like the reads that I've done and my intentions behind them. I did do, it wasn't actually a commercial, you guys. I did do um, a read for a talent agency just for modeling. But they were like, oh, do you also want to do a read for acting? And I was like, I don't really want to do commercials. They're like, just read this thing. It was fake. It wasn't even for the gap. So I intentionally did a really awful job. I was like, fall into the gap because I was just there for modeling. <laughs> Incidentally, they did want to sign me. And then I called someone that was legit Hollywood and was like, are they any good? She's like, other than they're the devil, yeah, they're fine. And I was like, oh shit. And then, uh, and then actually I called again about talent agency that wanted to read me for an, uh, a part. And then I called her again and she's like, they're also reading Kira Knightley. I was like, ah, okay, later. <laughs> Enough said, you know, like, so, um, no. The Gap commercial, I intentionally botched it to be awful because I never wanted to get hired as a commercial actor. That being said, twice I had acting gigs that were commercials, but I didn't know what they were until I showed up. Just fucking Craigslist. One um, it was a face, it was like a thing for Brides Electronics. I was an end cap, I was going to stick them on the wall, but it was also an in store video about a, like a camera on the computer. And I hated it. I am a terrible commercial actor. I hate it, man. I hate it. It's not me. It's like, it's not real. I was like, but no one acts like this. Like, people are like, Pro Lopez. I'm like, you're If you imagine your wife getting that excited about Pro Lopez, I'd be like, I'm freaked out. Like, you're a little Like, oh shit, dude. Like, fucking nuts. So I can't, I can't really hang with commercials because I don't, I don't get it. In fact, I was like, <laughs> but anyway, um, and then, um, so I didn't know it was just 75 bucks for Craigslist. I didn't know what it was, and I was like, oh, it's for price. But uh, I, didn't, I don't think I did a good job. But, but I'm also, I'm judging, and I was like, it's not realistic, but like commercial center. Um, and then lastly, I did a, again, so up 200 bucks, no, sorry, prize was 200 bucks, the other one was 75 bucks, show up at this college to do this, shoot, you know, professional wear, student wear, whatever, I was like, okay, I didn't know what it was, and then I got there, turns out that it was at commercial Hill Romeo, I told you I wasn't even a student there, and I played Token White Girl. That was me, Token White Girl, and also a blurry figure in the background. I don't mean to brag. Why did I do these things? Um, well, I was going to set the talent agency because I figured they could give me gigs. Why many? Yeah, you guys. I mean, it's art, totally, but I didn't want to do any of the commercial stuff, so. You have me fall into the gap. That's me on purpose, bad acting. Also in our form. The only, what I was considering, the biggest sellout thing I was considering doing was soap operas. But I figured, you're like, you're an actress. I'm like, no, no, I really did this want money. But I did think it was kind of fun. And I was like, a soap opera. I'm like, ignore that. Please, no. Terrible acting. I was like, oh my god, I could do that. I really could. And um, so that I amuse myself with thinking about. I mean, you might have a reading of me doing like a, some CSI type of thing. I, like read a thing and then some like rom com read that I did again for the talent agency. It wasn't real. They're just handing me scripts and, it's cold, and I'm terrible at cold reads. As you've seen, I'm like, I don't know to read a first. I want to read a first. I want to read a first. I'm terrible. So, no, I wasn't at all a serious actress. This is not anything to do with acting, it was an art form that I did, it was maybe 9% of my art was acting, maybe, I wasn't something I hugely valued, and people wanted me to be in their movies and stuff, college, and college, and then I was like, it was and then I was like, yeah, I can enjoy this, but under the right circumstances, I wanted indie film, I didn't want this other commercial shit, and that's, I mean, I didn't really pursue it, which is why you don't see me featured in a lot of indie films. Plus, the other thing they were saying is, which is code, they go, you're too modely, not 
too much model, that's what they'd say. What is that code for you guys? Too skinny. So if anything, you're like, you are, you are an actress. Well then, wouldn't I be heavier? I knew. I was like, yeah, dude, I'm too skinny. Like, what's up? Like, why am I so skinny? Well, I didn't know I was getting drugs. I mean, I've always been too, but like, it was like ridiculous. And I didn't know. That's the fucking of ice cream. So, it's not even proper incentive to get I swear to God, I lost out on like three rolls. They like skinny butt, really? You look at, I mean, I've been an extra plenty of times. And uh, you look at these like sort of low budget kind of things that are getting made and who are their leads? Fuckable people. That's, I mean, that would be all the way but if you're not fuckable, then that's, that's I mean, let's just be real. Rarely is it about acting. There has to be a fuckability as well. Generally, 98%. Being curvy, I'm telling you, my body gets really quick and sexy when I'm heavy. Compared to now? Well, I don't know. I've never been heavy, but I've never been heavy. I wasn't there for that anyway. I told you, I, I preferred stand up, but couldn't pursue because of X, Y, and Z. So you're working on the wrong tree. It was just another art form. It's like pinch potting or, you know, uh, tattoos or writing or, uh, God, I do a lot of art photography or uh, bead work or, you know, I went through this list of battles with that too. Whatever. Ghost threading or. Whatever, man. I, it's art for art's sake. 